Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Gilden, and we are back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we finished off the shipyard. We, I decided to cut away, or I just practiced at this on another file. And if you choose the scary file, or the scary option for the Rifty Coaster, then you want to finish under 30 seconds, and I <laughs> barely got it. And this is what will happen when you send the record, great work, yes I did, and whoa, now that was unbelievable, even I could not go that fast. Good work we have taken really good care of, and holding it onto this one forever, but it's yours now. Get a silver ruby, feel like celebrity, what to do. Well, anyways, I'm gonna see you in a moment when... I go and try to beat the heart stopping option. So I'll see you in a moment. Alright, after I failed the first time, I just decided I think I can run through this um, good. So I'm just going to show you what we should do. Alright, so we've already been on this track before. Once again, but we so the scary was basically the first track, and this is the second part of that track. But you know, the first time we went through it was just casual, it was just trying to get through that dying. But here, you want to get every single possible speed boost that you possibly can. So, yeah, you want to hop trap in there, you want to speed boost, turn the right direction. Always on the yeah, on the right direction. Here you want to go right. I think my problem is I was going left a lot, and that was pretty good. I'm doing really good. I'm I'm gonna make it as long as I don't fail anything. Here I usually pop over these things, but I think I pretty much have it in the bag, so. Man, I got that one easy. Way easier than any of time. That was, just blew it away. So, you finished. You said the record trade work. Whoa, now that was unbelievable. Even I cannot go that fast. Here you go, I found this treasure right here on this very island. And we get a heart piece. That's the whole reason that we want to do all this. Three to go. Hope you can come by again soon. Now, I will not be doing that ever again because I not like this minigame. Or, well, actually, I kind of like it. It's pretty fun. It's just you have to be really good at it to do it. So now that we are finished with that, we can get off the shipyard. So let's go with the skipper. But I, I really, really want to save first in case something happens because... Don't want to have to, um, you know, do that again. So my ship wasn't here. Zert, there's only one place to select for closed firm. Zert, it can be scary, but we have to head to Stronghold. Pirates stole my ship. We don't have much any time for him. Let's go. We close me. Anchors away. Zoom. All right. It's pretty scary, we Pirate captain is mechanical maniac Zert. He's kind of short, so he's learned things too. Vroom. Everyone in the main lot lay eyes his lay eye on him. Lay eyes on him again. Berserk. But if we want to take the ship back, we have no choice. Weep. Pirate stronghold is just up there, very close. Tighten up whatever you humans have instead of bolts. So let's get going. Weep. Tighten up our brain, or his sword, or something. All right. I really like this theme out on the the sea. It's a pretty nice theme. You see here, there is like, like stuff. I don't know. They kind of look like Viking outfits, or almost or something. 
So let's get out here and Pirate Stronghold. So, yes, this place is sort of a mini dungeon. This would be easy. This is easily scary as I thought it would be vermin. But if you think about it, they should all be dead. Revert. The only reason I'm up about because of the time to stones on the boat. If we, I have nothing to worry about vermin. I feel better now, Link. So, so it's time for you to go look for my ship, Zert. Right here, of course. It's kind of weird how you think. He's the only one of all the robots out there, the ancient robots, that knows. He's the only one that knows that he's living off of a time shift stone. It's kind of sad when you think about it. And oh, hello there. Oh my gosh. You are humongous. Please die. Thank you. Thank you very much. What? Thank you. This is like so long to kill these guys. They're like the most annoying enemies ever. To the choo choo. Thick. I didn't even mean to swing my sword. How did you make a big one when you only had one of them? Yeah, you wanna do your spin attack with them. Are you kidding me? Seriously! I didn't even mean to swing my sword. It's really annoying because when you break free, you like have to swing your sword. Like the second you get out. You pretty much have no choice. That did nothing but be annoying. Oh gosh, he Take the heart and rupee. There's another rupee, but I don't feel like getting it. Another piece. Looks like some sort of desert piece. Maybe I should identify it. Thunder keys. Oh gosh, finally doesn't have any Disney monsters attacking you to dark places. This isn't even a dark place. Back to the night and sun. This is the day! Very strong. Uh, that's why the Thunder Keys. That is very annoying. Oh, lots of money. Is there anything over here? Bombs. I just missed a sand cicada. That sucks. Anyways, let's... See, there's no entrance up, up front, so we have to go around to... I thought there was something over here. Of course, I can't remember even how to get in. Alright, obviously the place we walked by earlier had a door here that I forgot. We just passed by. But I knew there was some in this area, so I came back and I got it. I didn't get it. I opened. I found it. Whatever. Here we are in the pirate stronghold. It's mini dungeon. Ish. Master, please take a look. This device looks like it was meant to hold a time shift zone, but there is not one currently installed. 95% chance it's the same type of device that the ones currently in the neighbor mine. That's Kate, the time shift zone for use in these facilities, kind of power source. Oh, really? So, what do we want to do? I think that's where we came in. That's not where I came in. But since there's nothing to do in this room as of now, I just want to go into next room. 
Or how am I? Red rupee. That's nice. Hey, it's my favorite enemy, Lizalfo. Oh my gosh, why can I not? There we go, there's one hit. Alright. Oh, double hit. Oh, I didn't even... I, but I... Oh, he's dead. And we got a lizard tail. Yay. Never know when you might need one. Oh, that was... Okay. Oh, uh, we just felt this good. No, no. <sighs> Alright, Pirate Stronghold. It's. This is your items and stuff. And. Wow. How much to talk about? Uh, probably this area, the Linera Sands, he is. Probably one of my least favorite parts of the game, but I still think it's doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. Master, please take a look. This object is called a time shift orb. I conjure like time shown to using the spice. Then be carried around and installed in different locations. Okay, so what I meant was um, you know, it's kind of just like, go around and find places do stuff, sail around, kind of boring, but, you know, I still kind of like Skipper in the whole idea of Skipper. Okay. And I like the pirate gun the pirate stronghold because it's really one of the only places in the game where they kind of make it a mini dungeon. There's really not a whole lot of mini dungeons. Oh no, I do not like these dudes. Alright. There we go. There we go. It's a me. Link. So ahead, we, as you can see, if you go ahead, there's electric barriers. So when we open this, I'm guessing it's just a regular treasure, but, oh, it's a silver rupee. Another silver rupee. So let's go through this way. And as you can see, when we this thing into the future or into the past it becomes the present or wait no we ran into the present becomes in in the past there was those things in the way yes so we want to carry this and pick it up Jump to this one, jump to this one, and how many ancient flowers do I have? There's one down there. Two. I'm getting it. But I guess I'll see when I'm at the top. Alright, so let's move on ahead. Um, as you can see, this iron barn bar bars are always there. No matter if you're in the present or in the past. Until you flip the switch. 
and you can go through here. Let's see. Okay, so right on ahead this way. Of course, let's get that treasure chest. Probably holds another silver rupee or a treasure. And uh, was the treasure evil crystal? Extremely rare. Yeah, we only have three. So let's go back and grab our time shift orb. And we get interrupted by a deadly battle. Pick it back up. And of course that's in the way. So we can swap. What are you trying to grab it? Pick what's that? What what is he trying to grab my what? Yay, jelly block. Why is it moving? I don't get that. Is it like a living thing? It's kind of creepy. I'll leave him alone. I can't leave these guys alone. Can I? Uh. Okay. That hurt. Charlie bit me. How did I not? I mean, how did. How did. How did I did I? Thank you. Alright, there's gonna be a. I went through. That was easy. Why do I always do that? Seriously. Stop, like, being there. Seriously! What are you doing? Oh god. Why do you keep one? Why do you want the orb? Is it like. How did you do blah blah blah? I. I don't know what I was trying to say there. But I killed it and it. Killed me, hit me at least. Seriously. I don't like it. Um We wanna move this block over here. Right to this area. Flipped over the switch. Or not flip the switch, but open the door with the switch. What? I'd have just. There. Did I pull it back or something? Um. Uh. What? Okay, we want to bring this through here, I guess. Maybe. Stop getting on the switch! Stop! Okay, I'm gonna make sure to go around this way. This works. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Please, please. You are right, your hand is on the ground. How are you not getting up there? Okay, so obviously we want to get up here. Ooh, 
What? Miyamoto. Anyways, that's that's gonna do it for us in this episode, I think. Yes. In the next episode, we're gonna finish off the pirate stronghold and we are going to figure out this freaking puzzle. So until then, see you then. Peace out.